take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. I, I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's, that's my, and that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah. right before the game's over. We know this thing's done. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some speed. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Let it well, and it's picked. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And an alley to run. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Back to throw here. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30, so now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate giving up. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know they're playing people thinking, how can I get some more scores for my fantasy, for ever, other things? They're trying to figure that part out now. By the way, last weekend we went sushi because that's what you wanted. We're going steak tonight. I'm in. All right. And is there bad blood here? I mean, go for two when you're up that much. If there wasn't before, there is now. When you do that, you've just announced to everyone, you just don't care about the other side at all. All you care about is what you're doing, and they just want to pile up points. They did. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Broke a tackle, but not much room there. Just up past the 25, no further. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. McCown looking to throw. Safarian Jenkins has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Green 39! Green 39! McCown now on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. 
And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll make it a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. It's McCown again. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Snags it for the pick, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that at... just reliving their old dreams going back to when they were in youth football and in high school they didn't always play defensive line some of them actually handled the football and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one now it looks like he'll throw here throw right side taken in by godwin and he is out of bounds inside the 30 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. All right, here we go. Blue landing. Right, Back to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. This will be caught inside the 10. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. There's no doubt in my mind. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Right? I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune being warbled? I think the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. She's, she's building it out she's right going. now. She's full bore. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. They'll look to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. I know we can sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No, okay. Here we go now. Three, two, On the draw, McCown leaves it to Forte. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And now the Bucs deciding to take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. McCown. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Aaron Donald with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Green, 39. Now McCown got to have this one. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense will take over right at midfield. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, 
In the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And a catch right side by Evans. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Now Folk for the extra point. And it's no good. No, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. The Jets have got it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball. Which and a big loss here as he's taken down. Brandon Graham. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Let's go! Blue Lady! Blue Lady! McCown to throw on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Green, 39. Green, 39. One final try for McCown. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation mark. And probably felt like they could go another 60 minutes without anyone putting points on the board against them. That's the confidence you gain throughout when you're pitching a shutout. And they're going to leave the stadium feeling like they're all 10 feet tall. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Bucks are winners here as we.